To support the ongoing efforts of the Soy Dog Foundation, a fabulous brunch was held at Eversons Into the Beach last Sunday. There were free flow drinks, delicious food, plenty of entertainment, great company, and it was all for a worthy cause. PGTV caught up with top dog John Daly to discuss why the funds are needed. I'm now here with John, the Vice President of the Soy Dog Foundation, and we're in the midst of a, of a fantastic day out. Now these days are important, aren't they, because this is a, is a fundraiser, and these funds are really needed. Tell us a bit more about why these funds are needed. Yeah, um, certainly. The, today, this event is very much uh, about Soy Dog buying the, the rest of the land where the shelter is. Uh, shelter is. You know, we're looking to expand all the time, and um, although Soy Dog has been reported are in danger of folding, that's not the case. But we do need Soy Dog spends now about a million baht a month just on its operations. We just next week employing two additional vets. So although the management is all done by volunteers, we're now employing over 20 local staff, Thai staff, volunteer and Burmese staff, work at the shelter. So it's imperative that, to my mind, that we remain on. Phuket. We've had a lot of offers to move from Phuket and establish in other areas and although it's our long-term aim to do that, I personally would like to see the job on Phuket completed first. So it's almost as if uh, the, the, the property prices in Phuket are actually pushing you off the island. But as you say, this, this work is never really fully done, is it? You might sterilize uh, dogs today, but there are always new dogs coming on the island. Apart from the sterilization, what other expenses are there? I know recently there was a distemper outbreak. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, in December, there was a massive outbreak of distemper on the island, which affected not only stray dogs, which many people will see as nature's way of controlling, but also pet dogs and uh, many ties, of course, do not, uh, cannot afford to, to vaccinate their animals. So we instigated a vaccination program. Um, basically, we went to try and connect, basically create fire breaks on the island, which has proved to be reasonably successful. Uh, we're still getting a few cases, but from the peak of, oh, several hundred cases in December, and bear in mind this is, you know, it doesn't affect human beings, but dogs, yeah, it's a fatal disease. There's no way back from it generally. But that's our objective, and I say I would like to see, I believe in the next two or three years, we will see again a, a huge downturn in the numbers in the next, probably takes five years to be able to see it happening, but there's certainly been a downturn in the number of dogs since I first came here eight years ago, but bear in mind, I say, we've sterilized over, what, 32,000 dogs and cats. One final thing, talking about downturns, there has been a downturn in the economy, in the global economy. This has obviously affected you as it's affected a lot of charities. Now, uh, an event like today's uh, is very good uh, for a very short term. If somebody out there is watching this today and they would like to help the Soy Dog Foundation, what can they do? If you like to sponsor a dog, you can sponsor a dog certainly on our website. Go to our website, you'll find out all about how to do it. Please consider donating because, believe you me, all the management of this, we're now the largest animal charity in Tyler but the fact is we still all the management is carried out by volunteers at their own expense um, every penny that's donated or every bar that's donated goes directly to the dogs not to other <laughs> administrative or whatever which often happens with large charities these days thank you very much I'll let you get back to the event now I know it's a busy day and it's a great day the sun's out so please try and help the soy dog foundation and help the dogs and help John and help these people to stay on Phuket. Thank you. Mr. Singh's Fashion Gallery, Patong Beach, Phuket, the world's biggest and most exclusive international custom tailor. Call us for a free pickup from your hotel. Latest fashion design, ready in just 24 hours. Don't waste your precious time looking for small and inexperienced tailors. Mr. Singh's Fashion Gallery, call us for a free pickup from your hotel on 076. 345037